there are some simple lacing techniques that help you deal with some common foot issues while trekking. To prevent your heel from excessive lifting, you can try the surgeon's knot, also called the double overhand knot. In this method, find the D-hook closest to your ankle. You will tie the first surgeon's knot just below this hook. To make the surgeon's knot, wrap the laces around each other twice. This forms a really tight knot and will help prevent the laces from coming undone. Now go around the D-hook and tie your second surgeon's knot above the level of the D-hook. Continue lacing as you normally would. This technique is a simple way of preventing heel lifting. If you have a high volume foot, you might find this uncomfortable. So do test and see what works best for you. To reduce pressure on pain points. Trekking on hard terrains and for longer periods can lead to swollen feet. This might lead to some pressure points on your foot. To relieve pressure points, simply undo the laces till just below the pressure point. Now relace the shoes without crossing across to the other eyelid. Instead, go straight up to avoid the pressure point. Now continue lacing as normal. This is a simple method that will help you reduce pain. To reduce pressure in the toe box. If your toes feel really tight and cramped up in the toe box or if you are experiencing pain, then simply undo all the laces. Now lace the shoes but skip the first set of eyelids. This drastically reduces the pressure in the toe box and gives your toes more wiggle room. Please note this is only a temporary solution during the trek. If you are constantly having this sort of pain in your toes, you probably have a wrong size shoe and you should definitely buy a bigger pair. To prevent the toes from banging the front of the shoe. This shoe is usually of the wrong size and the toes start banging the front of the shoe during descents and maybe ascents also on really difficult terrain. This is the most common problem we see with first time trekkers. This can be a really painful situation and I have personally seen how people struggle. To prevent your toes from banging the front of the toe box, you need to lock your heels to the back of the shoe. You can first do a double overhand knot or the surgeon's knot on the eyelids below the ankle. You can wrap the ankle support around your feet with a web lacing technique. To do this, lace around the first D-hook but go straight up and not across. Then cross the laces to the opposite side below the vertical lace and now make a knot. This system secures the ankle support around your ankles and prevents your heel from slipping to the front of the shoe. There are a lot of different techniques and you need to find one that works for you. Do give these techniques a shot and we hope you stay safe on the trail and enjoy your treks. We have a detailed guide on what to consider before you buy a trekking shoe. The link for that article will be in the description. Do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos.